to the borders, the monsters come down with your breeches of deer skin and jackets of brown. With your red woolen caps and your moccasins come to the gathering summons of trumpet and drum. Come down with your rifle, let Oh, looky, looky, what did I get? Could it be a bayonet? M10 scabbard. Brand new in the package. And an Ontario Knife Works M7 bayonet. At least that's what they have it advertised. Sealed up in the package. This one I just kind of popped loose. The scabbard. Looks almost like similar to the scabbard I had for my uh, MK3 Mod Zero, so. Hmm. That doesn't say Ontario. Anyways, let's do the dirty deed and get it opened up. Da 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 Oh, look at that. That was a razor sharp edge. But I'll tell you, man, that's a sharp edge on there. I wouldn't want to be cut by that. She's definitely a killing machine. Got the slight fill of Cosmoline on her. I don't see where it says Ontario Knife Works. Oh, wait a minute, there's something there. I'm on focus camera. Ontario, there we go. US M7 Ontario. Nice black parkerized finish. Ain't she a thing of beauty? I got this for it's watching a seller on eBay. Had these things for 40 bucks. I was him and Han on it, and then they sent me a special offer to get it for like 37 bucks. So how can you pass up on a brand new bayonet and sheave for 37 bucks? You're crazy. Looking down inside the sheaf, it's got the little tensioner. But I don't believe this one. Has the built-in sharpener. Nineteen two hundred four assist. The numbers. The manufacturer seven four eight four six. Simple ballistic. M ten. One thing I noticed, which I don't remember on an old M nine Frobus I had. A little bit of gap between the bayonet flange mount and the handle. Hmm. Anyways, it ain't going nowhere. It's bolted on. It's coming to my spare room with my boxes. The kill it test. <laughs> that thing goes in too damn easy, man. Like I said, I wouldn't want to be stabbed with that thing. Let alone shish kebabbed on the end of a bayonet. Only AR-15 I have is a pistol, so I don't think it'll work on a pistol, but let's go try it anyways. Okay, I got to just quickly attach to the end of the bayonet lug on the pistol. Read somewhere once that if you put an extended flash hider on, it would actually fit. 11 and a half inch barrel. Well, I have a 10 and a half inch, so... I don't think they make an extended flash fighter long enough, so. <laughs> this will definitely not work with the 10.5 pistol, but. Anyways. And we see that the blade is about 6 and 5 eighths inches long. To the end of the handles, almost. Yeah, 11 and. 11 and 5 eighths, so. Anyways. Got a good heft and feel. 
how does it balance? Let me see if I can get it to balance. A little bit in front of that handle bolt, it's not perfect balance. But anyway, somewhere in that area, just sits there and kind of teeter totters, as you can see. There you go. Not much I can show. More I can show you. Thank you for viewing. Please subscribe. Don't forget to hit that bell notification for future videos. Some days I put out several videos a day. Most times I keep one in reserve for tomorrow. So there's always at least one video from me. And please check us out on Patreon, BitChute, and Subscribe Star. Thank you.